worst curtains ever. So, weather update is that actually the forecast is a bit better than what it was yesterday in terms of rain anyway. So, it's raining a bit now. You can maybe see or hear. But, um, yeah, not as much as what's forecasted or was forecasted last night. And it might even be sort of blow over by four o'clock or something, which is good. Like, it's going to be quite cold. So it's going to be like four degrees all day. But, yeah, hey-ho. And, uh, but on the plus side, there's like this uh, wind coming from the east. So it'll be a nice tailwind basically the whole way. So five meters a second or something which yeah could be quite fun so we're basically sacking off the um sort of the northern northwest route to laxelv on the way to alta and we're actually gonna go kind of down a bit and west pretty much right along the finnish border and probably go actually through finland for a bit to a place called utshoki utshoki um and then yeah a bit further on and then back into norway to stay at a place called Kara. Uh, Karashok, so in what Hovar describes as our deepest, darkest fin mark, where you know it's like very, um, yeah, so yeah, should be good. See you later. So, good morning, we're on our way once again, a uh, bit of rain about but not too bad, uh, Wahoo says 5 degrees, so we've got every piece of like kit with me on at the moment, so hopefully stay warm enough, and uh, yeah we're heading south to uh, the border, so Finland here we come, if they let us in. What a great feeling to be back in the EU, huh? Them were the days. But uh, yeah, now we follow this road along that river. It's about 150k, so. But it's along the river, so it's quite flat, so that's all right. So, in a bit. So this is uh, Utshoki Bridge. to the town of Utshok over there. We're in Utshok and we found a pub. So yeah. <laughs> now nah, um anyway they uh, seem to be doing like a buffet, like a warm buffet which right now will be an absolute worldy because uh yeah it's pretty miserable out there. Uh yeah three four degrees rain but um, yeah, on the plus side, we've done 66K and we've bombed along at like 28.6 average because this wind is ace. So yeah, we've been flying along and uh, yeah, a bit of food will uh, go down an absolute treat. So happy days. So this is right what the doctor ordered and it's well, chips, some sort of rye bread thing. Schnitzel, is that maybe? 
then some sort of mystery meat, uh, shirt baller, meatballs, and then this looks interesting. I don't really know what it is, but it looks like it's got salmon in it, like bulgur wheat maybe. So yeah, quality. So the thing about Finland, right, is that all the places and the names are all pretty mental. And so that's like Sammy, I think, on the top and then Finnish underneath. So this is a Finnish and Sammy elocution lesson 101. So from the top, it's Karigasniemi, Garigasniaga, Nuorgam Nyorgan. And again, Karigasniemi, Garigasniaga, Nuorgam Gyorgyan, Karigasniemi, Garigasniaga, Nuorgam Sing it with me. So it's stopped raining now. And uh, that must be because we've crossed the river here and we're back in Norway. Because you know, it never rains here. So yeah, it's starting to warm up a little too, which is good. And uh, found these kayakers or canoers, canoeists. I'm not sure what they're doing. Can't quite see that far, to be honest. We'll see if I can get a wave off them. Hola! Hey! Piscadu! Huh. Yeah, they're doing something anyway. Maybe drug smuggling. Huh? Must be, must be a bit of a yeah. Anyway, on on. So we're back here. Cycling along. Snack update. Uh, today we have these dates. I've not had these before. Salty caramel, which sounds quite interesting. And uh, yeah, I really like dates. Good cycling food. You know, lots of sugar, especially caramel when they're drenched in caramel. But uh, yeah, high in fibre too. So you got to be a bit careful with them because, especially if you mix them with this stuff, because I'm also addicted to these. These are ace. Because uh, yeah, that can cause a bit of havoc, havoc with your internal functions so but sometimes it's good to uh, you know live on the edge a little especially when you're biking along a boring road like this which has been pretty much for about 100 kilometers now Now it's time to say goodbye to the Tana River as we uh, peel off right here. Got about 10k to go to Karishuk. And uh, yeah, it's been emotional, my friend. But I feel we've bonded over this last, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, a while. But uh, yeah, see you again, buddy. So we made it to Karishuk. It's been a long day. We're staying in the old uh, Scandic Hotel. Sorry, Pear. Um, please don't fall out with me, mate. But um, just had some devastating news in that I've been looking forward to they have a sauna here all day, but it's shut. Corona uh, regulations or whatever, which, ah. Hey up, mate. Ah, oh, the first of many, a gas station dinner. So, 
A uh, quick introduction to uh, today's special bonus feature, uh, which involves uh, a new mate we made at breakfast, a guy called Christian, who has a helicopter pilot, and he was kind enough to um, show us around his chopper this morning. And uh, yeah, take it away, Christian. Okay, so I found a friend in the breakfast room. He's called Christian. Say hello, Christian. Hello. And uh, it turns out he's a helicopter pilot, which must be the coolest job in the world. Would you say that's true? Uh, <laughs> yes and no. So no because of uh, the weather and icing and uh, fog. But uh, yes, uh, sometimes when the weather is good and uh, you have uh, some some good missions to fly so it uh, can be but uh, it also cannot be yeah and so today because the weather's so bad we're grounded right yeah, we, actually we have been flying this morning uh, oh. some personnel up in the mountains but uh, we were scheduled to fly the whole day today but uh, some of the missions got cancelled so that's uh, that's why we could have a long breakfast with you this uh, morning <laughs> yeah exactly and so um some kind of helicopter is this uh, this is a Eurocopter 350 single engine uh, jet helicopter, or as they're called now, the, since this is so brand new, it's uh, the Airbus uh, H125. Mm. And what do some of these controls do? Uh, we have four controls that we use uh, when we are flying. So if we start with the pedals, these are the anti-torque pedals, so we can uh, uh, turn the nose of the helicopter. Uh, this is the cyclic. So this uh, you gains your, your airspeed and you also the brake and for turning left and uh, right. And uh, between the seats up in front, this is the collective. So if you use this one, you use the power uh, outtake from the engine. And it's called the collective because it, uh, the blades of the helicopter, uh, the angle of attack uh, is uh, adjusted collectively with, with this one. And also in the middle, is, this is the throttle. But, uh, in the old days, we have to use it manually. Today, it's an anti anticipator, so we can just uh, use it up and down, and, uh, and uh, the fuel and everything will be it's auto. So I don't. Ah, have okay. To so it basically it. flies itself then. Uh, it doesn't fly <laughs> itself, but uh, it's lots easier to fly a helicopter today than yeah. it was 20 years ago. Yeah. And um, uh, most. And what would you say your favorite is? Uh, it's. Uh, I, I think people. Uh, think that we are flying most personnel, but uh, up here we fly mostly sling load. So we have a 15 meters sling underneath the helicopter with a hook. And uh, we, since it's a far distance up here in the north, and, um, uh, so we fly a lot of uh, equipment uh, to the mountaintops and uh, from, from A to B with, with the sling under the helicopter. Okay, cool. And finally, um, how long would it take you to teach me how to fly this? Uh, if you went to a helicopter, uh, I've been a helicopter instructor back in the days, so uh, I've done a lot of, uh, of tutoring in the, in the helicopter. So it takes um, 10 months of uh, theory at the school, and then you have to fly uh, 114 hour, 140 hours before you get the helicopter license. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I fancy a career change now, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, can, when can I start? All right, uh, thank you, Christian. Yeah. Talk, man.